Hey, what's up? Sammy here. Today we are going to take a quick look at the Redmi K40 Gaming Edition phone. In this video, we will mainly cover the design, as the Redmi K40 Gaming phone is unlike any other Mi phone on the market. It's worth taking an extra look at it. Next, I will focus on the camera performance, sound, and the video viewing experience. Lastly, we'll test the games. But since we did a very detailed game test video before, which you can check from Sammy Tech Tips channel, link is in the description. We'll not talk too much about it in this video. Without further ado, let's get started. So this is the box of the Redmi Q40 Gaming Edition. One of the highlights of this phone is that it sports JBL's tuned stereo speakers. That's why it's marked that on their packaging. The box comes with a pin, some paperwork, a transparent case, a 67 watt fast charger, and a USB Type-C cable. To be honest, I really like this yellow cable. It feels soft and very delicate. And now, moving to the design. One of the biggest differences you will notice immediately for this phone is the dual shoulder keys on the right side. If you want to hide them, just slide two buckles to both ends. And if you want to use them, just slide to the middle. And the phone will enter game space. Convenient to play games. On the left side, we see the volume rocker and the mic. To the top, we see the air blaster, a denoise mic, and a speaker. To be honest, I have never seen a speaker of this design. Have you? No. On the bottom, there is a SIM card slot, a Type-C port, and another speaker. Just in case you want to know, the SIM card supports dual card and dual standby, but it's not SD card expandable though. And this is what the back panel looks like. It's made of Gorilla Glass 5 but feels like plastic. As for the camera module, it's flanked by accent lighting and an LED flash shaped like wireless flash. When you connect to power, the indicator will light up as the video shows. Green means it's fully charged. The triple rear camera setup includes a 64 megapixel primary sensor with an f1.65 aperture lens, an 8 megapixel sensor with an ultra wide angle lens, and a 2 megapixel micro camera. For selfies, there is a 60 megapixel camera at the front, placed in a centrally positioned hole punch cutout. The smartphone comes with a 6.67 inch Full HD 2400 by 1080 AMOLED display with HDR10 Plus support. 500 nits peak brightness and a 120Hz refresh rate and a 480Hz touch sampling rate. From our experience, the display looks awesome. What's more, it comes with excellent features like reading mode, which makes your reading friendly so that you can focus on reading even at night. Overall, I really like the design. It's lightweight and elegant, unlike other dramatic gaming phones that you may feel embarrassed to pull out in public as you don't want to attract attention. The Redmi Q40 Gaming Edition phone looks incredibly low profile. But at the same time, it has all those elements that a gaming phone should have, like accent lighting and shoulder buttons. But what really matters for the gaming phone is its performance. The smartphone packs a MediaTek Dimensity 1200 processor with up to 12 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and up to 256 gigs of UFS 3.1 storage. Well, we ran under the benchmark V9.0.5 version, and this is the result: 658K. That's a really decent score. You know, the Xiaomi Mi 11i I tested before, which even features the flagship chipset Snapdragon 888. It didn't outperform the Redmi Q40 Gaming. It's just really powerful. However, I do find the handset overheats too much, even though it claims sporting with liquid cool vapor chamber technology that uses a wide graphene to keep the temperatures under control while gaming. It still feels hot. And speaking of gaming, we just played Call of Duty back and forth several times. Overall, not a problem now. It handles decently. Like I said, if you want to see more gaming tests, please check out the video we made yesterday on the Sammy Tech Tips channel. Link is in the description. Now, about the sound and video viewing. I just put a few test clips here, you can check them out. If you want to see the full test, please check from this playlist. All links are in the description.
So what do you think of the GBL tuner speakers? Let me know in the comments section. And last but not least, let's talk about the camera performance. What I really like is it supports 4K 30fps recording with stabilization. With this being said, you can always use it as a secondary camera when you are making serious videos. Isn't that awesome? We just put all the original files here, you can tell us if it's good. Não vai no modo amplo durante a gravação. Vamos começar a dar algum zoom. Dois, três, quatro, cinco, seis. Ele vai até seis, tá, gente? Vamos voltar aqui para o nosso um. Gente, essa aqui é a imagem e o som do celular, né? O K40 Game. Vou andar um pouco dentro da loja para vocês testarem a estabilidade. E vou virar também um pouco aqui é, para a parte mais clara, mais escura. Vocês viram que a iluminação mudou, né? Já? So that's the unboxing and hands-on of this Redmi K40 Gaming Edition phone. As for pricing and availability, you can check out the link in the description. Overall, I really like it for its slim and lightweight design and of course, the powerful performance. It handles all my games decently when I need. So what do you think about it? Let me know in the comments section. And lastly, special thanks to my friend Simon for polishing the script. Please definitely give his channel a subscription. Please send me, and I will see you in the next one.